Robbie seemed to bring it out the gate. Um, how does that help, especially day one? Not that you guys need any extra boost, but it seems to infuse itself from the jump. Yeah, I think anytime you know you have that extra energy, like you said, the juice and just his passion, I think it, it flows into us. And you know, he's the leader of the defense, you know, in a in a way. And I think what he brings is his personality and just his his football mind and his love for the game. I think that's you know something that we can feed off of every single day. Um, you know, the longer we get get into camp and you know the days get a little bit harder. I think him being consistent and how he how he approaches every single day um, that'll that'll bleed into us and really set the tone for how how we want to be when we're you know when we're on the field. You got to play with uh, Matt for four and a quarter games uh, last year. Just what's it like uh, to have him back there? And your kind of what's your uh, kind of communication with him like? Yeah, it's been super fun. Um, you know, today was our first day where we're doing uh, team reps and, you know, going through situations, uh, red zone stuff where we're having to communicate and, you know, things are happening fast out there. And, uh, you know, he's just a, he's a guy that, that I trust wholeheartedly and somebody that I, I really respect and look up to. And, you know, to have him back on the field, uh, communicating with me, with everybody, you know, in the defense, I think it, it brings another level to, to where we want to be and, you know, really who we want to be as a defense. And, you know, I think he's one of the guys that, you know, when things get hard, you look to. And, um, you know, just to have him out there has been, you know, really, really great for everybody. How vocal is he on the field? Because, you know, with us, he's not. Yeah. No, he's, he's a lot more vocal on the field. Um, you know, I think, like you said, he kind of stays away from the media stuff a little bit. But uh, once once he gets out there, he's, um, you know, full-fledged into it and, you know, everything you would expect. Last year, you had a lot of expectations coming into your second year. What are, what, are, what, what is it going to take for you to have a Pro Bowl season? Yeah, you know, I don't really look at the, the end result. I think um, coming in and doing my job to the best of my ability and, you know, focusing every day on trying to improve myself and improve everybody around me. You know, that's the things that I can control and what I'm focused on and doing whatever I can do to, you know, make as many plays and help guys around me make as many plays as possible so our defense and, you know, in turn our team is as best as we can be. Is there any difference from a McDermott defense rather than a Bobby Babbage defense? I don't think so, man. You know, a lot of the stuff is the same. Um, I think certain things that they call will be different just you know personality wise how they see the game um, but you know Bobby's you know grown under Sean for a long time and I think having that experience they they really have a very similar mind in how they approach the game um, so it's it's kind of it's fun to see you know just the little differences between them how do you like the bark and Bobby likes the bark out there a lot. So <laughs> how, how, how you like the bark uh, I like it, man. It's fun. Um, you know, like I said earlier, just the the energy, the juice, uh, everything that he brings. You know, it's it's a it's a it's something that really, you know, uh, excites everybody that that he's around. What was the highlight of your time off? I think just spending time with my family, man. You know, um, during the season, I'm so focused and so locked in up here that uh, I kind of detach a little bit. And so, you know, when I'm when I'm away, I think having that time to really settle down and you know just go get lunch, hang out, and you know, spend time with them. Um, that's something I, I don't take for granted and something that, you know, especially in the off season, I, I try to cherish. When you're working like a practice like this, with red zone, tight red zone, uh, you know, what do you think about like trying squeeze, to squeeze windows against Kincaid because, you know, he, and his ability to find those? Yeah, he's a, obviously, you know, we saw it last year, he's a red zone threat for sure. Um, we know that, our offense knows that. and. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys that you have to you have to be aware where he's at every single play. Um, just the versatility that he has, being able to go up and you know take the ball off the top, or you know, you know shake off the line and make somebody miss there. I think he has a lot of things that that work well for him, especially down down there. I um, I mean, I I don't really look at it. Uh, you know, too far ahead. I think, you know, it's cliche, but I try to take it day by day. And I think just improving my communication, um, you know, my bond, my relationship, I think that's a, a thing that I'm working on through training camp at least is uh, really just, just building the bond and the connection with the guys on the team. So, you know, when things get hard down the road, you know, you, you can you can lean back on that. What are your favorite ways to build that bond? You know, there's a lot of different ways, especially here. I think, you know, playing games up in the dorms, uh, just sitting in mills, talking with each other, hanging out. You know, we have a, a special booth that a lot of the guys sit at and, 
you know, talk about current events or things that's going on. And, you know, I was up, up there till you know, about 9, 9.30 last night. So I think those are ways that, that, you know, you kind of benefit being, you know, here in a way and just, you know, kind of with everybody else. With all the turnover, have, you, have expectations changed? Um, I don't think so. I think my personal ex expectations for myself has stayed the same um, in how I perform and how I how I communicate, how I execute the defense. Um, I try not to focus too much on what other people expect outside of you know the building and you know that type of thing. But uh, for me, I think it's it's getting better at what I worked on last year, and that's self improvement. Like I said, it's the it's the same thing. Um, you know, finding areas of where I can improve this defense and where I can improve myself and in turn improve the team. What do you want from a team perspective? Yeah. I mean, you guys are four time AFC East champions. Um, yeah, the roster's gone through a lot of turnover. How have those expect expectations stay the same given the champions? Yeah, I think, you know, we have a, a standard of how we execute and how we perform, and that's where our expectation lies. I don't think it's necessarily any outside. Uh, influences anything that has to do with winning a certain amount of games or winning, you know, this or that. I think it, it comes down to, you know, really a daily a daily standard of how we operate and how we, you know, execute our stuff. You got two guys in the linebacker who's new uh, in Morrall and Deion Jones now who have started a lot of games in yep. the NFL. Uh, you know, what from your perspective does that add? Do that those guys can help you? Really? Yeah, I think anytime you get you get people with uh, experience and guys that have been in you know situations, I think you can you can learn something from them, and you know that's something that I've tried to do. Um, I've gotten pretty close with with Dion and talking to him about you know things that he's seen and things that he's done, and um, you know just just his course of of uh, his journey throughout the NFL, and I think you know trying to find people's. Um, perspectives and how they see the game and then how they how they've managed and how they've gotten to where he is um, I think that's something that's valuable and something that I, I look forward to um, you know building that relationship how is, coach, how is coach Holcomb as a position coach he said you know the last several years he's been in like senior defensive analyst positions and he yep. said he's excited to be back as a position coach what has he been like yeah Al's been awesome you know he's he's coached some of the best in the game um, He's done a lot of things that that you know you look back on, and it's it's really amazing to be honest. Um, so he's been he's been great. I think his knowledge for the system and the scheme, and you know the things that he he's seen and the things that he's been through, um, really helps us. You know we're watching film from 2012, 2013, and then um, you know just his his energy and excitement. Like you said, you know he hasn't been in a in a position room in a while. So I think that's you know really tangible. You can you can feel how excited he is to be to be back with the guys and you know doing that type of thing. So it's been it's been great. Terrell, the last two off seasons, <coughs> coming into the season, competing for snaps, competing for starting positions, things like that. Now you're an established player on this team. How does that kind of change the the mindset, the the motivation during the off season? And how do you kind of find that playing out this off season? Yeah, I think um, for me. You know, it was a, an idea of how can I improve myself and how can I push myself. Uh, like you said, you know, there's obviously things things have changed from you know the last couple of years of, of where I've been to where where I'm at right now. But I think the main thing is I I will never let myself get comfortable or be complacent or feel like anything has has changed in that aspect. So if anything, I feel like I've I've doubled my work. I've uh, really put in the time to to be where I need to be at coming into training camp and then, you know, eventually, you know, going into the season. So I think uh, really just just having that mind, the growth mindset of trying to get trying to get better every single day. Uh, that's where I'm I'm rooted in and where I want to be, um, you know, moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.